The universe of supercomputing is expanding in all directions. Simulating and visualizing what we could not see. Finding meaning in vast expanses of data. And tapping into AI to accelerate life-changing discoveries for us all. Welcome to TerraTech. I'm delighted to be with you today to talk about high-performance computing, a topic close and dear to my heart. HPC is an essential instrument of science, helping scientists better understand our world and universe. And though several industries have benefited profoundly from HPC, they are the exceptions. We believe a confluence of advances have put us at the inflection point and the beginnings of the industrial HPC revolution. When we hear about the digital biology revolution, or the future factory revolution, or the digital twin revolution, the same fundamental dynamics are at play. My talk will highlight the dynamics that will drive the super exponential, super Moore's law advances in computing that have made HPC finally a useful tool for industries. It will be followed by a discussion of how HPC systems will be extended to serve the diversity of applications of industries. Let me start with our own industry and how it has been wholly transformed by high-performance computing. NVIDIA's success is partly due to what we build, but much has to do with how we build it. NVIDIA codified early on the philosophy of building our chips fully in silico and only sending to fab what we believe will be perfect. NVIDIA simulates everything and invest whatever it takes to enable that to happen. We've invested billions in our chip design infrastructure in hardware and software to simulate our chips and systems. Simulation lets us find problems at the least costly phase of a project and ultimately get to market sooner with a high quality product. But it is much more profound. A simulation culture naturally forces concurrent hardware software co-design and naturally aligns internal teams. A simulation culture has profound implications throughout. Every aspect of product development is integrated. Failures and results are reproducible and continuously improving with all past learnings captured in the tools and flow. The compounded benefit over time is how we scaled and moved so fast. In 1997, Riva 128 was a 4 million transistors chip. It was built by 50 engineers. 23 years later, A100 is 15,000 times larger and took 5,000 engineers. Without simulation, it is impossible for the film industry to bring us to galaxies far, far away. In the rise of Skywalker, Industrial Light and Magic simulated millions of gallons of water on tens of thousands of servers. CGI let ILM create impossible shots. It's clearly not possible to summon the spectacular waves they simulated, but CGI has opened up so much more. The ability to shoot from any angle, iterate until the shot is perfect, and reuse the algorithm whenever an ocean is needed. The creative freedom is astounding. If a director can dream it, CGI can make it happen. Simulation has transformed e-commerce, media, the internet. There are trillions of items and billions of people enjoying the internet on just a small four inch screen. Predicting user intentions and preferences is essential to connecting users and items. By learning tens to hundreds of attributes for each product and tens to hundreds of attributes for each user, internet service providers use hyperscale data centers running recommender systems to predict your implicit preferences. 
recommender systems effectively simulate your preferences and predict what you'd enjoy buying, reading, or watching. Data comes from every possible interaction you have with their services. Recommender systems are some of the largest scale commercial HPC systems and they run continuously. Some 30 million servers are deployed each year into hyperscale and cloud data centers. A significant number of these are learning predictive features and user preferences. Each of these industries have been revolutionized by HPC. But industries that make products based on physical and biological sciences have problems that are too large and complex to properly capture in simulation. To aid in creating actual products, whether to decode and understand biomolecules, discover novel drugs, find more sustainable food and fuel sources, or safely operate autonomous machines to make and deliver goods. Industrial HPC can only be widespread when companies can design and stress test the entire product and simulation. There's a threshold of scale that needs to be achieved. Until now, the scale of simulation possible in HPC was simply too small to be useful to industry. As the saying goes, having the tallest ladder is useless if you're going to the moon. We need a rocket. Two computer science breakthroughs have increased HPC simulation scales dramatically. The first is CUDA GPU acceleration. Let's see the rate of progress by examining the scale of simulation scientists are doing with NAMD. NAMD is a molecular dynamics solver that is used to simulate chemical to protein interactions for virtual drug screening or simulate protein folding to predict its 3D structure. In 2006, UIUC accelerated NAMD with NVIDIA GPUs and did a 20 nanosecond simulation of 1 million atoms. 20 million atom nanoseconds. Today, with GPU acceleration, researchers are simulating 1 billion atoms for 500 nanoseconds, or 500 billion atom nanoseconds. That's 1 million times larger in 15 years. Moore's law would have been 1,000 times. In fact, the largest top 500 supercomputer increased only 400 times in that period. GPU accelerated computing drove super exponential growth. This was achieved because of CUDA GPUs, multi-GPU systems, advances in networking, and full stack optimizations. This fully integrated approach to computing is what we call GPU accelerated computing. Still, we're only approaching microsecond timescales. We need to simulate at millisecond timescales to observe important cellular processes like the COVID-19 spike protein in action and seconds timescales to observe protein folding actions. That's another three to six orders of magnitude larger and would have taken another 10 years to achieve even with GPU accelerated computing. Then deep learning arrived. Deep learning models are universal function learners. Its effectiveness and the accessibility of NVIDIA GPUs have attracted scientists globally to join deep learning research. We're seeing gigantic breakthroughs regularly. AI model sizes have increased four orders of magnitude in just four years to over a trillion parameters now. We expect 100 trillion plus parameter models in a couple of years. For a sense of scale, the human brain is about 150 trillion synapses. Researchers at DOE Labs use deep learning with NAMD to simulate 305 million atoms of the COVID virus over one millisecond timescale to observe its spike protein in action. In the past 15 years, we went from 20 million atom nanoseconds to 305 million million atom nanoseconds, a 10 million fold increase. GPU and deep learning have given HPC super exponential growth. Industrial HPC activity has noticeably jumped since deep learning, particularly in digital biology and drug discovery, financial services, manufacturing and transportation. Leaders see the inflection coming and are jumping on the platforms now in anticipation of super exponential advances. Researchers at Sorbonne University worked with Genze, CRNS, and NVIDIA to GPU accelerate Tanker HP, a large scale molecular dynamic simulation. They simulated 38 microseconds of the COVID virus spike protein in action. A result, researcher Jean Philippe said, would have taken years or a few million CPU cores to achieve. 
six leading pharmas are starting to use TinkerHP for drug discovery. Transformers, a breakthrough AI model that learns sequence patterns in parallel, has achieved incredible natural language understanding results. Google's BERT, OpenAI's GPT-3, NVIDIA's Biomegatron are examples. Language understanding technology has a potential to profoundly impact society by democratizing computing, giving everyone access. Gen C and the Big Science Open Large Language Model Collaboration Project is bringing together 500 researchers from 45 countries to develop an open source language model for industry and scientific communities. The transformer is not only revolutionary for language understanding, these models are also useful to learn the syntax rules of SMILES, the language of describing chemical structures, the language of chemistry. NVIDIA and AstraZeneca developed an AI model that could be used for drug to target reaction prediction, molecular optimization, and de novo molecule generation. It was trained on the zinc chemical compound database of the billion commercially available drug molecules. Physical simulations of fluid flow are critical to understanding mechanical systems, from designing efficient turbines and windmills to designing modern data centers. Geometry-aware, multi-physics, computational fluid dynamic simulations can take days to complete, limiting the scale of the design we can explore. NVIDIA researchers developed SimNet, a physics-informed neural network. SimNet is an AI-driven, multi-physics CFD simulation framework, an AI model that obeys the laws of physics. GPU accelerated computing and deep learning are giving super exponential growth in many fields. While super exponential scale will open industrial use of HPC, the diverse use cases of industrial HPC is driving architecture advances beyond just scale. Industrial HPC cannot be limited by the walls of the supercomputing center. Industrial HPC will be distributed across multiple sites, extending to the edge, connected to remote sensors, sometimes running batch simulations, and increasingly, continuous digital twin simulations. Industrial HPC is cloud-native and hybrid cloud. The central supercomputer will be incredible, great at first principles, physics simulations, as well as data analytics, AI model training, and physics AI fusion simulation approaches will be used by most industries. In transportation, HPC will build and continuously update HD maps from sensor data streamed from millions of cars. HPC will be used to develop self-driving AI models, while HPC optimized for visualization will simulate the full car stack in virtual cities. In manufacturing, visualization optimized HPC will create virtual environments where robots use deep reinforcement learning to learn skills. HPC will run digital twin simulations that are visually and physically accurate. Some supercomputers will be fully dedicated to monitor and process continuous streams of telemetry of the environmental, meteorological, atmospheric, oceanic, satellite imaging, and human and agricultural pollution data coming from billions of sensors all over the world. Historical data can be visualized in many modalities and the data will drive AI models that predict weather in the next hours or climate change in the coming years. Destiny is such a computer and will be a digital twin of the Earth. Accelerated computing and AI will be used throughout. And yet the diversity of applications and system bottlenecks will drive diversity of system architectures. And this is the beauty of ARM, the open licensing model that allows the world to create purpose-built chips and systems. Amazon Graviton is excellent for hyperscale. Ampere Computing has built a great CPU for hyperscale, cloud, and high concurrent user applications. CDAC in India and Etri in Korea are also building supercomputing CPUs. Fujitsu has built a supercomputing CPU with strong vector processing and high memory bandwidth. Marvell is excellent at storage servers and 5G base stations. Here in Europe, Cypro is building a CPU for European exascale supercomputing. And NVIDIA is building a CPU optimized for GPU accelerated computing of large data problems like AI. Building the CPU is the first step of a long journey to creating a computing platform that is useful for researchers. Building a useful computing platform that supports the diversity of applications, system configurations, and use cases in different fields of science and industries is a giant endeavor. And with a tiny exception, computers are not standalone or isolated appliances. 
ARM systems need to be integrated into today's infrastructure, software stacks, and workflows. ARM needs support of third-party companion chips, a broad range of systems, domain-specific solvers and applications, middleware, storage and file systems, networking, mature development stacks, and SDKs that support popular programming models and languages and data center management software. ARM is barely 1% of the world's data center today. So inspiring the ecosystem to fully support ARM will be a long journey. We believe the time has come for the ARM model in HPC. And though a long journey, it's one NVIDIA is quite familiar with. NVIDIA can jumpstart the ARM HPC ecosystem. Over the past two decades, we have created a strong ecosystem for NVIDIA accelerated computing. Our platform accelerates all key HPC and AI ecosystems. We provide 150 SDKs to our 2.5 million developers. We work with server makers throughout the world as well as cloud providers to offer our platform to customers. The HPC community wants diversity and is eager to have NVIDIA offer accelerated and AI computing for both x86 and ARM. With community interest, we will support both ISIS, from cloud to supercomputing centers to the edge. Let me mention one more thing. Quantum computing, though still early stages of research, holds the promise to simulate classes of problems that grow exponentially complex with scale, like quantum chemistry and cryptography. Though a couple of decades away from broad commercial use, there is immediate important research to do, and NVIDIA can make a contribution in a number of ways. Simulating quantum circuits to verify the results of a research quantum computer, providing a platform for quantum optimal algorithm researchers, architecting hybrid quantum classical systems, as well as accelerating the many quantum solvers already in use for drug discovery or material sciences. NVIDIA KuQuantum is a tensor processing SDK and speeds up quantum circuit simulations tremendously. There's a large and vibrant community in France and around the world. Our computer scientists are ready to help you accelerate your quantum research. Science uses HPC to test the limits of new theories. Industries need HPC to test the limits of new products. Until now, the products based on physical and biological sciences are too large and complex to properly capture in simulation. GPU acceleration and AI has changed that. GPU acceleration and AI boosted the scale of simulation by 10 million fold in a little over 15 years. Super exponential growth. To industry, HPC is no longer a tall ladder trying to reach the moon. It's now a rocket ship. The question for industry is no longer what can computers do. The question is who will use it first to revolutionize their industry. The time for industrial HPC has come. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great TerraTech.